Okay, hello there, I'm Dennis, and in this video, we're going to talk about graphic card, Radeon HD 6450 in particular. I was going through, this machine right here is what I call MK790, which stands for Marketplace One, and it's an Optiplex, Dell Optiplex 790. I have another 790, which I call MK2, sitting right beside it. And I installed FreeBSD on it, following exactly my guide that I put together. I couldn't get it to boot. It'd come up, it would fail, and you could you could log in eventually, but you would not get any graphics going on. So immediately, I had no idea what was happening. <laughs> First thing I thought was I did something wrong. So I reinstalled and I had the same exact results. So I said, well, something's wrong because this is a 790 and that's a 790 and it works on that 790, but it's not working on this 790. So I opened up a terminal. I, I reinstalled after the base installation was complete and just before I enabled these services, I ran. Let's see, Pete, let me just clear that screen real quick. I ran PCI comp, the ONF space hyphen BL, and it showed me that I had a AMD API card. More specifically, a Radeon HD. Now, it doesn't specify which one of these it has. I put the installation on hold went to another machine <laughs> I found my Optiplex 790 and I went to the video and it says right here that it could have the HD graphics 2000 which is apparently what the my MK2 790 has but read reading on it says it has a Radeon HD 6450 which is what I'm showing right there. Exactly. So then I said, uh huh. So now I have to follow my guide and let's change that I915 KMS to a Radeon KMS. And boom. I said, I'm finished. So I finished the installation, rebooted, and I got first time when it booted up, all I saw was basically what looked like a pixelated screen with all different colors. I used the power button and powered it off rebooted this time it received a bunch of errors saying that something about a radeon card that couldn't load it so i eventually was able to get back into the terminal prompt and sign in as my root uh, user and then logged in as root and at that point i paused the installation and went to my computer again and i opened up let me go back to here i opened up this link right here wiki freebsd.org hyphen or slash sorry capital graphics i said okay i was reading along here and this is what i had been doing the intel integrated we'll see it had amd and i clicked on that because now i know i have a radeon driver or a radeon radeon card AMD Radeon card. I was reading along here, and there was what I put into my rc.com. But then it said, I kept reading, and it said to, it is important to note that there is a currently a conflict with both AMD drivers and the EFI frame buffer. The current workaround when booting via UEFI on these systems is to disable the frame buffer via bootloader.com. So, terminal clear that screen ee -E, boot loader and you'll see i put a note to myself to eliminate that error from the efi boot here's the line and right here hw period sys cons period disable equals one right here and once I did that, finished the installation of FreeBSD, here I am. 
it's it's up and running and working so if you run across a problem like this or if you already know you have a radion driver amd radion driver this is what you're going to have to do and i thought that was important enough to share because somebody's going to install using my guide and it's not going to work because they have an amd driver or amd graphics driver gpu and it's not going to work so here here is the fix right here dealing with PyConf. if you're interested in that here's the link and i'll make sure this gets in the video and it tells you all the flags and a lot this thing does a lot <laughs> there's the b option is supplied will attempt to load the vendor device information uh, database and print and where is the l where is the l there it is l flag only list details about a single device instead of all devices pci.com also worth mentioning you do not have to run pci.com after you've installed your base installation and before you enabled your services install neo fetch <laughs> and it works i mean you see right here it listed my video card and it will install on the base system and just run it and that'll tell you if might be easier to remember than running PCI comp. <laughs> I don't know. You make your own. There's probably other commands that you could find out the, what cards you had as well. And the third way that I know of that would save you a headache in the long run is to just get another Linux distribution, a bootable live USB, boot up to that, run NeoFetch, and see what it's got. <laughs> It's just that simple. It didn't seem that simple when I was failing all them times. <laughs> anyway, I made this video and I'm hoping that it'll help somebody that has followed my guide and failed and now they realize they may have an AMD graphics card or any other card. Find out what kind of card you got before you make that decision to enable your services. <laughs> and these links will get the link to my particular computer i'll leave out but the, the graphics that'll make sure that gets in here and there's also another utility that you can use lspci but you have to install pci utils in order to do that if during a base install you're not going to have it you could install it if you're more familiar with using those or that command and here's where I wrote down the importance. See, I wish I'd have caught that right off the bat, but hopefully this video will save somebody a few minutes of headache and grief and continue on giving BSD a chance. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on another video. Peace out. Bye.